A brick doesn't know his neighbor, it's just a brick. Can one know the next one, know the next one, and get a chain? About 10 years ago, I thought, what if we actually look at the principle of monocoque, the principle of boat, which is trying to transfer the force always along the surface and never go perpendicular to it. To describe something like that, we probably want to connect using what I would call tangential continuity. These linear parts describing a non-linear type of geometry. It's more than a question for me, it's literally a fascination. The difference between intensive versus extensive curvature. What I would call extensive curvature is what has been presented before through the work of Ryoto. That the bubble model is more performant than the box. He certainly proved it to us. But if you take a bubble and you scale it up to the scale of a room, up to the scale of a building, what looks like being double curve is actually planar at every single smaller description. So intensive curvature is still trying to optimize double curvature but we fix a maximum radius, which means that instead of having one single surface spanning from one side of that room to the other, you have to go through tubular elements. You have to go through split, recombination, resplit, merging together, resplitting together, etc. It's thinner than your credit card, less than one millimeter thick aluminum, and yet you can stand on the top of a structure like that. It has depth, it has porosity. It's a limit, but it's not a limit. You start to wonder, is there an order? If there is an order, what exactly is that order? But also some people start to project their own background. You come from the sea, some people will read coral, some people will read flowers. It doesn't matter. But it matters that they engage, that they start to wonder about the structure. That's what's important for me in terms of architecture.